Mark. Say good morning, guys. Hi. We are opening the box. Yes, you're yes. right. We have got a new birdie box for our birds today. Let's see, we're just going to open it yeah. and find out what goodies we have. Yeah. yeah. If William wants to rip the tape open, I will flip it. Yeah. As you guys know, we are in yeah, lockdown again, and everything has to change. Um, because we've got so many laptops and devices out because of home learning. Oh, look at all the goodies. The birds actually can't come out during the day. Right, go and watch your YouTube then. Right, so we've got some new toys for the birdies. That is a bird perch. We will have a look. Hold them. Okay, so our birds are getting... A little bit bored. They've been in for the last couple of days, so we've ordered them some new toys. Look at this big thing. And we're going to go through the toys with you. These are from Scarlet's Parrot Essentials. And their toys are really good. The birds absolutely love them. The majority of the toys that we get, the birds are actually destroy because they're chewable, edible, shreddable. Lots of fun. So this is the first one. This is the coconut husk shell stuff that you put food in it and they forage for their food inside it's been quite good for when they come out and play um let's see let's do it this way it's got a bit of rawhide on that bit so we have straps that they can chew. Yes, Charlie Bear. Okay, don't sit on that, babe. It's going to fall. Stop. Get off. Come and help Mummy do these. It's leather. So they can chew all that. It'd be good for mango because mango actually chews everything. I've got here. Oh, look, we've got a little shreddable man. For them. Everything is chewable. Oh, we've actually got two of them. They were quite like that. We've got the fruit toy. It's got a big bell on it. Kiwi absolutely loves this toy. This is for mango and tilly. Or stairs. We've got a perch brush. To clean their perches off because they're getting very poopy at the moment. Pooping quite a bit for some reason. More than normal. Oh, what's this? This is a nice big toy. They're like that. That will be for when they come out and it will be up on one of their perch ropes going around the living room. But at the moment it's kind of difficult to have them out because all the laptops are out. The kids are learning from home. So it's quite difficult to let them out because they just want to join in with the kids and play on all the devices which they can't do. That's a good little one. They're quite good for Kiwi. Kiwi will like that one. I like that one. It's quite a big one. thing is when you look at them online they actually do look tiny but they're actually not they're really quite quite big toys ah. it's quite a big one you'll be able to get into that i like that one it is quite big huge be able to fit inside got another nail perch because like I said in my last video there nails are starting to get a little bit sharper than normal good little nail perches they are you keep them nice and trim you get ones that they eat as well that's got calcium and mi um, minerals in there and everything so they quite enjoy that one 
If I put a minimal block in there, they actually won't physically eat a minimal block. So... Where do we actually hang this one? Another nice little one. Obviously you can hang little toys off of these as well. That's what the little rings are for down the bottom so you can add little toys to them and stuff. Um, we've got a couple of little dices there. So that's a good one. The wood won't last very long. So let me know how you guys are getting on during lockdown. It is really difficult, isn't it? I know it's difficult because I spend most of my day homeschooling. Don't get time to do my housework, so my poor house is like. A good little one for the cockatiels. I got a pony. Your honey, you have got a pony. Honey will like that one, won't she? What? Honey will like this little toy, won't she? Yeah. Should we put it in the honey's cage later? Yeah. Yeah, she'll like that. Oh, this one's another good one. All my birds like different toys. That's the thing at the moment. Um, like... Ah, uh, she's drinking out of her water bottle. Give them in a water bottle as well because they keep bathing a lot to change the water more than normal. But Tilly likes hard toys and beads. Mango likes playing with the ropes and everything and the wood. So he would like this one. But not all of these will go in their cage all at once because obviously they they because they're in during the day at the moment they literally just destroy the toys so we'll add a couple of new toys every other day this one's a good one yeah move over then so i can see and again this one kiwi will like this one because of the move your feet charlie because of the chain so that's a good one yeah. Ch Charlie, you're really in the way, dude. Whoa, where's this? This is another big one. Charlie, you're proper in the way, dude. Oh. Whoa, what? Yeah, again, another one. Oh. I'm ten. Oh, mango, but I think I'll actually just like swap them around and another little toy can go down the bottom but I'm not actually going to keep adding toys all the time because they do use quite a bit oh what is it I think this is a food bowl yeah. oh, that's a nice big one for the birdies isn't it yeah. Tilly at, at the minute has actually got a habit of eating the food bowl because they're plastic ones that come with the cage She's actually got a habit of actually destroying the food bowl. So that is nice and big for their food. Or their water. So that's going to be really, really good. So I'm quite happy with all the toys that we've got. I'll put the list, the price lists in to let you know how much everything cost. But I'm quite happy with that. Hopefully the birds will like them, so... Give you an update with them. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.